Well, I'm back here again with another beauty PR unboxing. Usually I preface this by saying that my computer is still broken and I'm waiting for it. However, I actually did get my computer back, but there's still a problem with it. So I am uh, still talking with Corsair about remedying this situation and I've actually been frankly enjoying doing the beauty PR boxings on this channel. So. Before they collect too much, I figured I'd just go ahead and hop on here and open them up with you guys, show you guys kind of all the new things and beauty that I've received, and just kind of casually hang out and chat and talk about beauty, which is one of my favorite things. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to like start grabbing stuff. This is actually probably from the last, I want to say like week and a half, potentially two weeks, but I don't even think it's been that long. I just have like, the, like a lot of the pair of boxes I've actually gotten are pretty sizable, so they're starting to kind of like overflow into the rest of the office. So I need to open them up and sort them. And then another thing that I usually preface these videos with is that I do not use all of these products. In fact, that's why you don't see me swatch a lot of the products or necessarily open them up because products that I decide to not keep myself or share with friends and family, I end up donating to a local women's shelter and they don't accept open products, which makes total sense. But if there is something you see, please leave it in the comment section down below if you guys want more information or more in-depth reviews or anything like that. So this first package is from a brand I believe called St. Jane and they have it packaged really pretty. Let's see. Oh, okay. What is this? It looks kind of like tea. Oh, it's a hydrating petal cream. So evidently it's a skincare brand. This has evidently hibiscus peptides, hyaluronic acid, and 500 milligrams of CBD. Wait a minute. This is skincare, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow, the packaging is very like luxe looking it um, honestly looks a little bit like reminiscent of Saint Laurent to me interesting I actually I, I'm not big on like the CBD in my skincare I've never really tried it a ton so maybe this is a good reason to I do obviously love hyaluronic acid and peptides but that's really neat. I've never seen anything like that. Evidently it is available at Sephora and it is clean at Sephora. So that's definitely a new brand for me to look into and try. So thank you St. Jane for sending that over for me to test out. Next package we got says hashtag Aprico Life. So Aprico, I guess is the brand. Small but mighty supplement blend that increases absorption by five to 25%. So I guess it's some type of vitamins. <laughs> you should probably know this. This is, um, it is on a mission to create natural health solutions that can be essential to everyday life. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Got a couple bottles here, it looks like. There's the Quick si Quicksilver Scientific Bitters. Am I crazy? Aren't bitters what you put in alcohol? I'm sure that's not what this is. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. These are definitely things like I have to research if they're going inside my body. This one has vitamin C in it, phospholipids. Then what else? Maybe there'll be more. I definitely need to, whoa, uh-oh. This is an ice pack. Was this supposed to be kept cold? Cause if so, I hate to say it, it's not cold anymore. It is the glutathione with lemon mint. Immediate effects, superior delivery. So I, like I said, I again have to look into this stuff. I take some supplements. I'm not a huge supplement taker. I take like ginseng and I take, like right now I'm taking turmeric supplements. But yeah, I need to research these a bit more. But I, they did email me and reach out and I did take a look at their website and I was like, these look fancy. And I'm always willing to try it. I just need to research it more before I like start spewing stuff online. <laughs> Next, we have the ELF package. It says it gets better project in collaboration with this organization. And so for Pride Month, I'm assuming, it has their Big Mood Pride Mascara in here. So it looks like we've got three tubes of mascara. I've never tried this mascara. We have, oh, how cute. It's like all rainbowy. you guys can see that. This one's the Hourglass, this is in black. We have deep brown, and then we also have black but waterproof. Cool, I'm always down to try mascaras. Mascaras and like eyeliners are definitely a thing in my, like my makeup repertoire that I tend to replace the most often because, you know, you don't wanna put like old stuff around your eyes. So I love it, I love it when I see like brands working with organizations. 
it's always nice to give shout outs to great projects and collaborations and things like that. Um, okay, let's go to this side. We have this package from Rhyme and Reason, an eco-friendly and good brand. This is like pretty, it's like heavy. So this, oops, this is like hair product it looks like. We have the Argan Oil Smooth Finishing Serum. This packaging feels like fancy and eco-friendly. <laughs> we have the Liquid Shea Leave-In Conditioner. Nice. Oh, it's 100. Okay, that's why this packaging feels different to me. It says 100% recycled bottle and nozzle. So it is, I guess, you know, natural in that sense. And then we have the Damage Repair Serum, the Plant Protein, which I feel like I can always use. In fact, I feel like I already need to go back to sky and get my hair trimmed again because my ends are getting so dry. Um, and then we have the Color Protect Shampoo and Conditioner, blended with Babasu Oil, White Tea, and Antioxidants. Bab 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 babasu babasu. I've never heard of that. I will say this though. I have actually been making a concerted effort to using like le like no sulfates on my hair. I've even been trying like no fragranced products, um, just because I want to be able to recommend those types of products to other people. And I know for me, like I definitely have some skin sensitivities. So maybe using a brand like this that seems to place more of an emphasis on ingredients that I recognize. This definitely has perfume in it though, or fragrance in it though, but I can actually read the ingredient list versus sometimes when I'm like looking at products, I'm just like, I have, I can't even, oh okay, I couldn't pronounce babasu, but I'm sure it's just because those letters next to each other feel foreign coming off my tongue. <laughs> Anyways, okay, next we have a, pro a package, 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 package from Pixie. They actually sent me this because I attended like a little online event that they were having. Um, and this was the products they sent over to like demo on your face as you were like, they walked you through a look. So these are the products. I actually didn't do the look at the time because I was just kind of like listening in and I wasn't able to stay the whole time, but they sent over the rose essence oil, the correction concentrate, oh, concealer. There are a couple of these endless silky eye pens. There's Rose Golo and Black Coco. We have the Lash Booster Mascara, the Natural Brow Duo in Deep Brunette, the Sheer Cheek Gel, which this one looks really nice and flushed, and then the Flawless Beauty Primer. So I did get to kind of watch them use it. Like I said, this blush one, I was really intrigued because she said something about like crushing blueberries on your cheeks. Like that was kind of what this was inspired by. And there were a lot of really cool tips that they gave. So now I have like my little arsenal if I decide to give it a go now I know like the secrets and tips involving those products huh. okay let's go for some little boxes before we get to the big boxes because we like I said definitely have some big boxes here so bubble sent over this PR package they are a skincare brand that to me seems more um, targeted towards like the Gen Z crowd like the younger crowd which doesn't mean I'm not into it it just means you know like probably more, you know, it's just more, the packaging is more bright and colorful. It's just more designed like youthfully. Uh, this is the Day Cream Tone and Texture Serum. Has vitamin C and niacinamide. It's formulated without fragrance, parabens, disulfates, formaldehyde releasers, denatured alcohol phthalates, silicones, PEGs, and gluten. So if you have sensitive skin or like, you know, really easily irritated skin, it seems like Bubble tries to like design products for that type of skin type and again that tends to be like younger skin so yeah that was from bubble must be a new skincare product from them we have this from the gsq by glam squad i actually i'm not even sure quite what this is um this has like a bunch of makeup products in here so i'll have to check these out because i'm not even really sure oh it's available at cvs so I guess it's a more affordable skincare brand. This is or makeup brand. This is the first time I've heard of it. Like I said, um, this has the Volume Mascara, the Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. We have some Eye Lip Cheek Cream Sticks. There's a bronzer, a pink, and a berry. There, just some stick products. We have some of the brow pencils here as well. So we have True Brown, Dark Brown, and Dark Blonde. So like I said, those I guess are available at. CVS and it says these show stopping expertly developed formulas work hard and look good doing it just like you Well, thank you <laughs> Now we have this guy from tower 28. This is the first PR package. I've gotten from tower 28 I don't remember if they reached out to me and asked for my shipping address or if 
I'm on a PR list. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know half the time where these boxes come from. I just know they either come from the brand or a PR company. Um, but I've heard a lot about Tower 28 and I haven't tried them yet. Um, and they sent over some skincare, the SOS The Serum. So we got a couple products here. Well, little fun, fun things. <laughs> Last time you lose your keys. How cute. It's like a little lifeguard. What are they called? Boo not a buoy. Like a flotation device for your keys. <laughs> um, they have the SOS Saver Skin Bandages. How cute. I can always use Band-Aids. Um, and then we have these two products here. These are the um, Intensive Rescue Serum and the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Now, here's the thing. Did they tell me how much these cost? Because I had some thoughts when I first kind of like peeked in here. The serum is $34. And I don't know how much this guy is. I don't know if they, they put it on here. But either way, like it's not super um, inexpensive. It's a little bit on the pricier side if you ask me. And the thing about it is, is that um, I was looking at the ingredients of this. So you could buy something like this. There's, what I'm say, trying to say is these aren't anything fancy. In fact, these are basically just like hype, um, what are they called? Hypochlorous acid based products, um, which are typically for like eczema or sensitive skin, skin irritation. It basically helps like remove any really tiny like mites from the skin or um, bacteria, like that type of stuff from the skin. So, for eczema, if that's the cause, like what's causing your skin to have that reaction, it can help kind of you know dial that back a little bit. So, I actually use a hypochlorous as uh, acid spray. Um, on my eyes, I will round my eyes, not in my eyes, um, but I have been for a while, actually OcuSoft had one that I used to use, and then I just found another like branded one on Amazon that was like $14 for like two spray bottles this size, so I'm just saying, if this works for your skin, definitely check that out. They're definitely overpricing this for what it is. I'm sure Tower 28 has a lot of other really great products, and honestly, I will still probably use these because I use these daily in my routine as it is um, because I do have eczema on my face. Um, and if you do have eczema, it might be something for you to check out. You can use it anywhere. Um, and it does, just to give you guys a heads up, these products do have, yeah, this one included, has a little bit of like a bleachy smell to it. Um, and if you look into like eczema, sometimes they recommend like bleach baths. Uh, so, you know, it's basically, like I said, to just kind of like completely sanitize the skin, remove any like dust mites, allergens, anything that might be irritating your skin, bacteria, and kind of resetting. Just thought that was funny because I was like, wow, they're trying to like really brand this, uh, <laughs> this type of, you know, skincare product that's been around for a while and make it sound like it's really fancy and evolutionary when it's, it's not new. Um, okay, so anyways, next we have a package from Glow Recipe, and I thought this was so cute because they make it... This is your serum wardrobe. So they included all their different serums. We have the Plum Plump, uh, which is a hyaluronic acid-based serum, the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum, the Strawberry Smooth BHA and HA Salicylic Serum, Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum, and then the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Um, of these, I really like the hyaluronic acid one and the ceramide based one um, because those work really well for my skin types. And like Glow Recipe always has the cutest little PR packages. So I was excited to get that. I always love getting Glow Recipe products and that's like a brand that I always share with my friends and family because they're always excited to get Glow Recipe. So thank you for sending that over Glow Recipe. I always like trying your new products and sharing them. Okay, I actually think we are on to the big packages. At least that's pretty much all we have left. Um, so this got sent over from Slick Salon. Perfect Slick. How pretty is this package? It's like dripping ice cream almost. And then inside, wax. <laughs> and so um, I haven't I haven't like waxed myself in a while. I have done it in the past. I just I don't know. You really gotta work yourself up to it because it's not necessarily something enjoyable. So maybe this will improve my waxing skills or make it less painful or um, irritating. They sent over a whole like isn't this so cool? A wax warmer, a pro wax warmer. I'm gonna have to find like a lot of. <laughs> things to wax. I feel like if I like go through the process of like eating up this much wax, I'm going to need to like wax my legs, wax my armpits, wax everything. So um, this has the uh, wax warmer, 
Then we have the hard wax beads. Aren't these so cute, like pretty, like this color? It almost looks like candy, which is awful. <laughs> then we have the post wax lavender oil. I could probably use that. Also, like oil like this is kind of nice to help loosen up some of the wax you get on you that maybe you don't want to like rip off. You can kind of work it off with a little bit of oil, so I'm sure that'll be good for that. Um, and then we have the, oh, this is a microwave melting cup. Okay, so you, instead of putting it into the wax warmer, you can also just microwave it in the cup and stir it and kind of warm it up like that. Um, so we have the reusable cup, reusable applicator, and the hard wax beads in there and now I guess these are available at Walmart it's amazing the kind of quality brands and things you can get now just like running to your local store so you see I mean at least here they're demoing using it on their face which not gonna lie I used to wax like up here along the tops of my eyebrows and like my upper lip <laughs> so we'll see like I said if I get enough um, you know if I'm brave enough to do that again when I was young and blissfully unaware of repercussions. But I'm sure this will be fine and I'll have to give it a go. So thank you to Salon Perfect Slick for sending that over for me to try. I'm actually kind of excited to wax, which that sounds weird. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and I guess move on to this side. Um, I got this sent over from Nautica Oceans, or Nautica, <laughs> Nautica Oceans Pacific Coast. Um, I am a big fragrance junkie. In fact, can you see it? I don't know if you can actually. Um, but up there I have all my perfumes and I have way more perfume than any person needs. But I am very, I find fragrances and scents very personal. And so I like to keep a bunch of different ones for different occasions, different moods. Um, they bring back memories. So I love when I get these kinds of things because, you know, I love trying new fragrances. And this is what the inside looks like. The box is kind of falling apart on me, so I'm gonna set it on the ground. Ooh, whoa, this is a huge bag. It's like a beach bag or something. Um, there's the Nautica toiletry bag, which I'll probably give this to my fiance. He actually does use these types of things, so that's fancy. Then we have a nice beach towel, which I can always use from Nautica. Oh, it has flamingos on it, how cute. My friend Taryn would love that. <laughs> um, and then, last in the bag, we have the fragrance itself. Uh, they have the body spray. This is the alcohol-free formula, again, in the Pacific Ocean, or Pacific Coast, I'm sorry, I'm not even saying it right. I like that. It smells, and then, it smells very, like, I can't describe scents. I can't even describe, I mean, I can be like, it's floral, citrus, whatever, for, for women's fragrances, but for men's, I'm like, smells like, <laughs> smells like cologne. Um, it smells actually very nice though. Like it smells very, um, not too heavy, like overwhelming. I don't know if you guys have ever like been around a guy who wears too much cologne and then like the cologne hangs out after the guy leaves and you're like, I love a guy that smells nice. And like, you know, I love the smell of nice smelling colognes. But when you have so much on that it hangs out for a while after you leave, you're probably wearing too much. So I actually prefer something a little bit lighter that you can, you know, you could build up if you want to or just have like a light little spritz and be fresh for the day. Um, and then of course they sent over the Eau de Toilet spray. Um, and this is again an alcohol free formula. Um, so I guess it's a clean fragrance vegan formula, alcohol free water based formula, sustainable materials and recyclable and 90% recycled plastic cap. So I'm gonna have to throw this on my fiance and see how it's how it like smells with his body chemistry. But I'm definitely excited about that. And then it has this like huge beach bag, which we could definitely use. So thank you, Nautica. Fun. It's Sally Hansen by Friends. Now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, um, but I've actually never watched friends. I've seen probably episodes here and there, but I don't know if I've sat down and watched a whole episode, but I will say it's one of my fiance's favorite shows. Like he really liked friends. I think he just likes Jennifer Aniston. Um, but yeah, I just know everyone likes the show and I've never seen it. So anyways, um, I do like Sally Hansen though. Whoa. Oh my. Wow. Oh, is this, what is this? Oh, it's a couch. Where's the couch supposed to go? Maybe here. This must be like the coffee shop from the show. I wouldn't know, like I said again, I don't watch, I've never watched the show. 
Um, but ugh, we have nail polish in here, which is what I'm excited about because I love nail polish. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to undo the bow first, and then I can lift it. That would that makes it so much easier. Okay. Um. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. 10 new shades, and then they also sent over their top coat. These are the Miracle Gels, which I've actually, I've never tried from Sally Hansen, but um, I do like a lot of Sally Hansen products. In fact, I kind of grew up using Sally Hansen on my nails. Um, and so there's some really pretty colors in here, some of the more notable ones that I, like pique my interest is this like brown one here. I love me a white. And then I also like this yellow one because it looks like it's got like bluish green iridescence to it, so something kind of unique and different. Um, but yeah, it's amazing the, like, brands, I guess. I guess Friends is a brand, right? A brand that these beauty companies decide to collaborate with. So, I love it. It's supposed, oh wait, up to eight day mani. If I could keep my nail polish on for eight days, that would be fantastic. I don't think I've ever found a nail polish that lasts me that long. But you guys, look how fancy this box is. I almost feel guilty, like, getting rid of this because it's, I don't know if you guys can tell, that's lit up, like that's a light that turned on when I opened this up. They're so creative. Okay, uh, we have two packages left, so let me do this one. This one's from Redkin. If you can, I don't even know if you'll be able to read that box because it's so iridescent. Um, we have the New Hair Strength Repair Duo. This is the Acidic Bonding Concentrate. I've actually tried some stuff from this line. Um, I'm just gonna pull them out of the cardboard here because they're kind of falling around. Um, so we have <laughs> we have the Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo as well as the Conditioner. Um, and then we have the uh, Leave-In Treatment and then the new product here is the Intensive Treatment. Um, and I guess this is basically designed to like help your hair kind of rebuild and bond back together when it like splits. And so I, yeah, reinforces weakened bonds, improved breakage reduction, multi-use treatment, and hair is two times stronger. So I haven't tried the intensive treatment. In fact, how does this even work? So you use this as a pre-shampoo treatment. So you apply it in your hair, leave it for five to ten minutes, rinse, and then you go in with these guys. And wash your hair. Um, and then they also sent over a little hair cap. Hey, it kind of matches my outfit. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so I will try these again. I haven't tried them in a I haven't used them in a while, but um, the intensive treatment's what I'm really excited for. And like I was saying earlier with the other hair products, um, my hair is just, you know, I feel like it's always damaged and dry. Then last but not least, oh, we have another hair. We've got a lot of hair products today. Um, this is from Pantene and Olay. And we have like this. What's it look like, guys? Uh-oh. I think a lot of stuff sliding around in the back. Oh, and this looks like this, there's like an LED light strip up here, but it's... Uh, I think it's supposed to light up, but it's not. Oh, oops. Yeah. Oh, this came undone. There are wires. There are connected wires. Came undone. Okay, I'm not an electrical engineer. I'll leave that for someone else. Um, but cute. <laughs> and then we have, let me get to the actual products themselves. Because again, this poor package must have gotten like really jostled on its way over here. Because all the little slots are missing <laughs> their products, their associated products. I'm going to have to do some fishing, I have a feeling. What are these? Okay, so I'm gonna look at the Pantene stuff first. It says they're treatments. Oh no, these are really, I, I'm gonna have to tear this apart to get to the, they really fell through. So these are the hair treatments. We've got the anti-frizz, hydrate, color enhance, and strengthen. So after shampooing, dispense your Pantene conditioner to the palm and add a quarter sized amount of the conditioner mix in. Oh, so these are like little um, concentrated shots kind of thing for your hair, hair shampoo or conditioner. So that's interesting. I wonder if you could use this in like any conditioner. It always kind of makes me nervous when you're talking about like mixing products, but 
That's neat. I've never seen that type of thing before. Um, and then I wonder, is this kind of, are these similar? So we have the AHA serum, a coconut oil serum, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E oil, and then jojoba oil. And the instructions say smooth evenly over your cleansed face in the morning or evening. Follow with your favorite Olay moisturizer. So is that the mix? Is that like the boost mix? Like adding your moisturizer on top? I I don't think you mix these with each other because that doesn't seem right. Like you don't want to mix an HA with a salicylic acid. That doesn't. Hmm. Olay. I'm gonna have to look into this, but I'm not sure what we're doing here. Is this just like a different marketing tactic for like layering skincare, or is this actually mixing? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, that's new news to me. Um, anyways guys, so that is the PR that I've received in the past week or two. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sort through some of these and pick out some of the stuff I'm interested in, but if there's something in particular you guys want more information on or just curious about yourself, please let me know in the comment section down below and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me doing a little PR unboxing and as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.